this is Jaden for more Times and you're watching a quick comparison overview of the Realme X50 Pro with the OnePlus 7T. So the Realme has finally launched their first flagship or their first 5G smartphone in the Indian market. This phone comes with the latest chipset and the latest connectivity. Actually the connectivity that is not even present in India but there's compatibility for that which means it's future proofed for the future 5G networks while the OnePlus 70 is already doing quite well in the market though it doesn't have the 5G compatibility it's one of the best 4G smartphones or the one of the best budget flagship smartphones in the Indian market. So let's do a quick overview of the comparison and check out what the, these two phones have to offer. I've been using the Realme X50 Pro exactly for three days now so I haven't used it a lot it's only my primary phone for three days so only a few things that I can let you know about are in this video when we do the comparison. Starting with the design, this is the first time we are seeing a non OnePlus phone to have something like this subtle kind of a design. So OnePlus was one of the brands that was known to offer a matte kind of finish which was not actually matte. So uh, there was some roughness given here but that was a smooth roughness which means it was it is a kind of a smooth but in a way it's not even that glossy. So it won't reflect any light and that's where it actually looked quite good all the time. So OnePlus 70 was one of my favorite uh, designs except for that large camera area on the top but otherwise the gradient back on the OnePlus 70 was pretty good. Now Realme is adopting the same and this red, the fiery red is actually uh, looking pretty beautiful and pretty good with that subtle uh, uh, kind of uh, a gradient design again where it comes out with multiple colors there and it's always smooth to hold. Now with the way they are uh, in the hand it's uh, actually a bit more comfortable on the OnePlus 7T uh, because of uh, the curvature on the side. It's actually, it's, it uh, seems a bit slimmer and that might be due to the fact that it comes with a smaller battery size. So obviously it becomes sl uh, slimmer in that way and this is uh, a bit thicker and so it's not that easy to hold but in the end the battery is larger so you'll have to compromise with that uh, in hand feel of it. Otherwise it's actually almost the same on both because the feel and touch is the same on back of uh, the devices. Now with the display, it's a 6.55 inch display on the OnePlus 70 which was uh, already present in the market with the same resolution that this phone offers. It's 1080 into 20, 2400 pixels but the Realme X50 Pro comes with the 6.44 inch display and it's the same Gorilla Glass 5 production on them and uh, while the Super AMOLED display is present on the X50 Pro, it's the Super AMOLED on E1 OnePlus 70 but OnePlus uh, calls it as Fluid AMOLED. It's 90 hertz refresh rate on both of them so obviously no difference there as well super smooth on both the devices it's actually pretty smooth and uh, pretty easy to use while the interface differs quite a lot we'll be not talking much about it it's always a personal preference oxygen os on this one versus the realme ui on the realme x50 pro again both run based on android 10 uh, that's the latest os but there's quite a lot of difference with the user experience with the features that are offered there so it in the end depends on uh, what you prefer there but Next with the performance, so it's Snapdragon 855 Plus, the previous generation's best chipset Snapdragon 855 Plus that was enhanced for gaming and with a better GPU speed and a better clock speed on the GPU that was on the OnePlus 70. Now the Realme X50 Pro comes with the latest Qualcomm Snapdragon 865 with the Adreno 650 GPU. This is the latest best chipset out there into the entire market, not just this one. Obviously, you might again uh, uh, compare it with the Bionic chipset on the Apple devices, but right now from Qualcomm, this is the strongest one and this is the most powerful one. It offers a great performance, but obviously, I'll talk about the main uh, usage in the end. Uh, with the Oxygen OS on this one, it's always smooth on the OnePlus phones. On the other side, the Realme UI much, uh, has got much smoother anyway with the new updates. But with Snapdragon 865, it's going to be really smoother than what it was before. With the benchmarks, obviously, 865 is easily killing the 855 Plus. But otherwise, benchmarks are not really important. In flagships, it's mostly the smooth usage that you see uh, very easily. And there's no real difference seen there. But it's with the compatibility or whatever the features are supported with that chipset. So 5G is offered on the Realme X50 Pro. The 5G is not present in India right now. It might not be there until 2021 or even the end of 2021 because there's a lot of hassle going on around with the government and the taxation and everything. So it's not a surety that you might uh, get 5G networks pretty soon. But with the flagship, you won't change a phone pretty easily or pretty soon. So obviously you might be using a flagship phone for at least three to four years easily. So by then you might hope to get the 5G networks in India and you'll be directly able to use that network on the Realme X50 Pro because it does support that network. On the other side, the OnePlus 70 has 4G VOLTE support, 
no 5G support. So in the end, in case in future uh, you want to shift to a 5G network and you want to have a device with it, this won't be that one. With the cameras, actually there are uh, quite a few differences. Uh, there are three cameras on the OnePlus 70. There are four on the Realme X50 Pro. How do they differ is the major point there. 48 megapixel primary sensor, the Sony IMX586 on the OnePlus 70. There's two other cameras, the 16 megapixel telephoto lens with a 2x optical zoom. And then there's a lot of uh, hybrid zoom. They don't call it hybrid zoom, but in the end it's uh, the uh, digital zoom that is offered there. And the third one is a 12 megapixel wide angle camera present on the OnePlus 70. Now on the Realme X50 Pro, Realme has said that they are going to still retain the same 64 megapixel camera as the primary one with the f1.8 aperture because they worked with that on a couple of previous phones and it did quite well. And with the new chipset, new ISP, it actually would do better, do a better job now. So it's 64 megapixel primary camera. Then there are three more cameras, but the 64 one also helps in the 20x uh, uh, hybrid zoom is what now this company calls it. So it goes up to 20x hybrid zoom, but there's a dedicated telephoto lens for the 2x optical zoom. There's a wide angle camera that also works as a macro camera. So this time Realme hasn't given a separate macro camera, but if you use the wide angle camera and take the camera to about three centimeters from the object, it would actually take a macro shot. And the fourth camera is a two megapixel black and white portrait camera. So those are the four cameras on the Realme X, X50 Pro. But on the front, Realme has this time uh, offered two cameras. So it's a dual camera with a punch hole display on the front. In that, the two cameras are 32 megapixel camera with an 8 megapixel wide angle one. The wide angle camera of, of, offers here about a 105 degrees of field of view. So for group selfies, the secondary camera is going to help a lot. On the other side, the OnePlus 70 comes with the, the single 16 megapixel selfie camera, which doesn't do a bad job either. But in the end, for someone who's a lover of selfies, you obviously would be choosing the Realme X50 Pro. With the battery, it's a 4200 image bat battery on the Realme X50 Pro. It's a 3800 mAh one on the OnePlus 70. I have been someone who has been criticizing the OnePlus 70s or the OnePlus 7 series battery life quite a lot. After a couple of updates, the battery went down quite easily. Then again, there were updates that brought in the battery life uh, to become better. In the end, the battery capacity itself is not so much. So what would the updates do and what would the software optimization do when the battery capacity is not so much? 4200 mAh, again, better than the 3800 on this one, but the fast charging is where the Realme X50 Pro is actually one of the best in the markets itself. 65 watt fast charging with the 10V 6.5A output. This comes with a 30 watt, uh, it's, called, it's called the Warp Charge 30T charging, while on this one, it's the Super Dart flash, uh, fast charging uh, with a 65 watt support. So obviously, it's much faster, more than double the speed on the Realme X50 Pro. So these were the major differences. There's 5G support on the Realme X50 Pro. In display fingerprint sensor is present on both of them. Face unlock is present on both. USB Type-C connectivity, dual speakers on both of them. So no difference there as well. UFS 3.0 storage as well. So both the flagships are competing with each other quite a bit. There are quite a few features where there are similarities as well, but easily if you are okay with Realme's uh, uh, attempt here, I would say the Realme X50 Pro is quite a good deal here. It comes with the latest chipset, the future proofing for the connectivity as well with a much faster charging solution and a pretty decent display which is similar to this one, the same uh, aspect ratio and the same refresh rate as well. So that's it in this video or the overview of the comparison of the OnePlus 70 with the Realme X50 Pro. If you have any other questions about these two smartphones, do let me know in the comment section below. We'll do a separate speed test comparison of these two phones to let you know which one offers a better uh, speeds or a better RAM management as well. So stay tuned for that video. And that's it in this video. I hope you like this video. If you do, do share and subscribe to get more time for more. Thanks for watching and see you next one.